Hi everyone. So in this video, as I mentioned in the previous one, what we'll do is we'll take a string that is not part of this uh, grammar that was given to me and we'll see whether this automaton actually rejects that string. So let's take 0, 0, 1, 0. Uh, that's it, I guess, that string does not belong to the language. So let's start with our stack. So my stack is initially in the S state. And uh, this time I will actually have to take all branches because in the last video, what was going on was when I was taking a string, I just had to take the branch which I knew was going to lead to an uh, accepting state, accepting condition. But if I want to show that this string is actually not going to be accepted by my pushdown automaton, I'll have to show you uh, that all of the branches, uh, none of the branches lead to uh, an accepting condition. So from S, what's going to happen is I could take either uh, this rule, the first one or the second one. So I'm going to go to uh, either uh, a 0x, zero 0sx zero or I'm going to go to uh, an epsilon. So here what has happened is even before I ran out of my string, my input string, I hit the empty stack and that's not an accepting condition. Uh, the acceptance by an empty stack works when I've run out of my input, but here I've in fact not even started with my input and I've hit an empty stack, that doesn't work. So this is not something that I'm going to be accepting. Now we need to continue with the branch on top here. So here now I have a zero as my, uh, as my stack top and I have zero as my input symbol. So I'll be taking rule number four, which is uh, converting the zero at the top of my stack to an epsilon. So this now changes to an SX. And now once again, I, uh, I need to take both the branches. So from here, what's going to happen is um, I'm either going to get an X, uh, actually I'm going to either get a zero SXX, or I'm going to get just an X and I've used up this zero right here. And from this X, now I can convert this X to a one using rule three. And here what I can do is I have a zero at the top of my stack and zero is my input symbol. So what I can do is I can convert this to an S X X. And now, uh, as far as this branch right here is concerned, so when I have this branch right here, the stack top that I have is one and the input symbol that I have is a zero, which means that uh, I don't have any transition rule for that in my automaton, which means that this is, can now be rejected. This is going to lead to a dead state, which leaves us once again with the SXX right here. So this once again can take either of rule one or two. So I'm going to take uh, both of them. So I will either go to a zero S X X X or I would go to uh, an X X. And now for as far as the first, uh, I've of course consumed this zero now because I consider that for uh, both of my branches, this was one and this was two. So I considered that zero for both branches. So now I can move on to one as my next input. So my input is now one and in this branch, I have a zero at the top of my stack. And as you can see, I don't have any rule with a zero at the top of my stack and a one as the input. So I can actually reject uh, this branch right here. And now I have the other branch which has uh, an XX. So what I do is I convert uh, one of the X's to a one. So I get one X now. And here I have one at, top, at the top of my stack and I have one as the input symbol and I can take this rule for it, which leads, me, which leads my stack to be um, just an X and now I can get rid of this one right here, which leaves me with just zero as my uh, next input symbol. And 
this x is now going to turn into a 1 because of this rule right here. So I now have at the top of my stack a 1 uh, whereas my input symbol is a 0. Once again I don't have any uh, any transition for that in my pushdown automaton so I can reject this as well. So and I've now run, run out of all of my branches and now since I've uh, shown that none of the branches are actually leading to an accepting state it means that this automaton this pushdown automaton is not accepting this string right here which does correspond to our language uh, on the top right here so because this string did not belong to the grammar that we had written and we said that this automaton does correspond to that grammar uh, it does not accept the string that was given to us which is 0010 so this is uh, how I've shown you a run of the automaton for a couple of strings I know this isn't a proof telling you that uh, every push down automaton that I'm drawing using the procedure that we saw in the last video actually corresponds to the grammar that we had taken into consideration uh, and I'm not really going to go into the proof once again my uh, I feel like my task is give you an intuitive understanding of uh, of converting a context-free grammar to a pushdown automaton and then convincing you that the pushdown automaton that I got does actually correspond to the grammar. So I hope the, uh, the example in the previous video and this video convinced you that this pushdown automaton does correspond to uh, the grammar that we had started with. And if you did understand how to convert uh, context-free grammars into pushdown automaton, automata and understood pushdown automata in general give this video a like share the playlist with your friends so that they can also learn and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i'll see you in the next video where we'll start something new